How often do you spend a lot on something that leaves you empty handed? And why is the millennial generation increasingly choosing to spend its money on these intangibles? In this digital age, it seems real life experiences are gold. Julia Hartz, co-founder and president of Eventbrite, is here to tell us about the rise of the experience economy. Julia, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So your business recently did a survey of millennials and you find that they truly value experiences over material possessions. That's right. We were able to partner with Harris Research and really understand and dig into what we actually were seeing on our platform at Eventbrite. And what's interesting is millennials, they're a huge generation. They're one fourth of our population. Uh, they're 18 to 49, so some are just graduating college and some have kids. So there's a complexity in a generation that is commanding $1.7 billion in spending. And one thing that unites them is their shared love for experiences. Is this a result do you think of the digital age? Well, we certainly see the advent of things like social media pulling people together online to then gather offline. And millennials are craving that offline experience, which is big business, big business for brands and companies to really start to bring their business from the online to the offline to engage those millennials and drive their spending and experiences. And does your research show that it's not just the millennials, that this is spreading this experience economy? That's right. So what our research shows is in mass, the population in the United States is spending more on experiences ever since the 1980s. This trend is really increasing. People are seeking out those offline experiences that are indelible memory producing and fulfilling for them. And research does show that people do take away more from an experience, take away more lasting joy from an experience than from a possession. That's right. What we're finding is that instead of going out and trying to find your identity through a car or a home, specifically millennials are finding their identity through experiences. And when they share them back online with their community, that's driving social capital for millennials. And can you explain FOMO, this fear of missing out? It almost sounds like an experience related keeping up with the Joneses. Right. Well, what we found <laughs> in our research of the people that we polled, those willing to admit that they actually experienced that twinge of anxiety was about 70%. So you can imagine it's a little bit more. But when you see an activity that your friends or family are doing and you see that and you're not a part of it, you actually are compelled to be a part of it next time. And live experiences are finding this way to really compel people to be a part Part of that offline experience. And your company, Eventbrite, is an online ticketing service, correct? correct? So what is the takeaway for your company from this data? Well, what we're finding are big businesses and small businesses alike are finding real traction in live experiences and gathering people. Things like obstacle races, like Tough Mudder, didn't even exist five years ago. And they're experiencing this boom with the millennial generation really driving active engagement in live experiences. So there's an enablement market happening that's being fueled by this desire to be gathering offline. Makes perfect sense to me. Sounds great. Julia, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today.